The following is a presentation of The Day. Thanks for joining us at Live Lunch Break. My name is Rick Coster. We're streaming as I speak from theday.com. And there's also real people here because we're at the Telegraph in New London. Thanks to Rich and Daphne for hosting us once again. It's, uh, it's midsummer in here because that's the way it is in October now. Apparently it's the new meteorology because it's hot, but that's okay. We turned the fan off because we didn't want it interfering with the mellifluous tones of friendly ghost. And this is <laughs> Victor, Joe, and I, I'm gonna already ruin it, Kelsey, right? Yeah, that's good. That's good. She's a new member and I came all home worked up and I had the previous band members who were guys from Angel which is sort of an inside record store joke. <laughs> anyway, we're glad you guys are with us today. You want to play a few songs for us? Sure. All right, Friendly Ghost. What you need
right here. Ten bucks says. schools different from the state laws and the comfort zone of the bourgeois will i build a house inside my sleep big enough for my soul to keep don't bury me for habit's sake if i die before i wake because insanity is an awful name for the mind too big to frame and sexual reality maybe just formality but conversation from day to day doesn't even start to say all the hints you need to hear and all the ends you always fear. What if it was them, not me, who missed the point entirely? Like time is not a straight edge line, counted up from night to night. Wasting on such hollow words just to feel like I've been hurt. I think it's getting pretty hard keeping up with who we are. You listening to the sense of what I'm saying? Can you hear a thing? That's the attention you're not paying. Ten bucks says you don't remember my name and I'll take that man And I don't get why you're not never sleeping And I don't get why when I'm already sleeping Ten bucks says there's more to what you see And I'll take that man This time tomorrow, it won't be on the news. 
barely even notice cause these bloods don't leave a bruise there's a war inside don't try to hide but it's not like you got shot just keep on trudging forward trudging's all you got Yeah, the population's messy without a second thought. It's easy to keep ignorance when you know you won't be caught. It's no excuse, so lose your noose. There's no one gotta pay. Toss your scale aside. There's nothing for you to weigh. Prize for being idle, you'd win the golden calf. You're as fickle as a godhead, but at least you made them laugh. Just answer more, unlock the door, and let the spirit in. If it's good enough to drink them, well, it's good enough for sin. Like a kid fighting with giants, I refuse to be compliant. Stone is flung, I'll cry, fee fi fo Forget it, I'm done. Empathy. 
rising bomb The world filled up with fists You are the only open palm But who the hell could blame you For questioning your worth When I have this awful habit Of falling off the earth Whoa
Hi, I'm Rick Coster. This is uh, the day.com live lunch break. We're in the Telegraph Record Store in New London, and we have been blessed today with the presence of the friendly ghost. Although, based on the tuning problems and the humidity we're having, I think there's a maleficent spirit here. Somewhere. Yeah, somewhere. <laughs> and that's okay, though. It happens to, to the best of us. And as we know, you guys can multitask and talk. Yeah. And tune at the same time. So why don't you give me a drop D heavy metal tuning while you answer the following question. Yeah, I, <laughs> <laughs> um, I think it's kind of interesting when uh, folks of your generation display not just an affection for like native folk music, Appalachian tradition stuff, but how do you get interested in that? How, where did that come from? Bob Dylan and Quiet Life, actually, really, right. uh, our hometown heroes, you right. know, kind of just got us into that world, and uh, we just listen to it and explore and go through old records of, you know, record shops or parents' collections and find stuff, so. Do you think that wherever Sean Spellman of Quiet Life is right now, he got some weird vibe that he's just been mentioned in the same I sentence so. with Bob Dylan. I hope so. I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> that would be nice. And, and Sean has done a song spinner with us for a song they wrote called New London. What do you think? Are you are you focused on exploring the scene that we have here? Or are you going to try to take it elsewhere? Or? I think, yeah. I mean, I think this is definitely a home base for us. Um, I mean, some of us are in New York City at, at certain times and you know, other times we're just different places. So really, wherever we can play is good for us. And you know. In that context, you'll sort of play anywhere, as is evidenced by a clip on your Facebook page yes. of the two of you guys on top of a hotel in Montreal. Now, did you get thrown out? Were you not supposed to be there? Or no, no. Can you afford to stay in that hotel? It was actually at the, uh, the top of Mont Royal yeah. in there. But we were just out on the patio, so. <laughs> so you could just walk up with your guitars? Basically. And yeah. banjo? Yeah. They're really lax in Canada. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not in terms of letting me have citizenship. I don't know. <laughs> Did I just say that? Okay, well. Uh, now, you guys have an EP out. Tell us about that. Yeah, it's called uh, Summer in the Basement. We released it, uh, was it, I think it was July, end of July. And it's uh, our first EP as a, a four-person band. The other two members aren't here, obviously. But right. It's the first EP we put together. Uh, most of the songs are written by Victor, but it's a lot more collaboration between sure. the four of us. I think, yeah, based on what, what I heard, the parts that everybody's contributing has got to be probably not something you just said, play this part at this time. Or right, right. I think it's maybe where the best energy and songwriting comes from, if it is genuinely collaborative rather yeah. than a dictatorship, if you will. <laughs> um, where can people get this? Online, actually, at uh, the friendly ghost.bandcamp.com. Uh, and you can download it for free. Uh, you, can, you can also donate <laughs> when you download it. So there's that as well. <laughs> I like that idea. So, so you could, like, no, you may or may not know, but Victor also works at the Flock Theater and he's been building 70 foot puppets. 70 inch. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, you did say 70 foot. Yeah, earlier, well, I and I was still marveling over that the entire first segment. Like, I'd like to have one of those in my yard <laughs> since it's like Halloween season or whatever. But um, so is there a visual aspect to what you're doing? Is this going to be conceptual as you get further down the road? Um, I don't know conceptual is the right word, but I think uh, – at least I'm very fascinated with light, and a lot of our images have to do yeah. with light. So, uh, you know, maybe there's a music video coming up, possibly with some shadow puppetry in there, and, uh, you know, things like that. That would be pretty excellent. We're talking with the friendly ghost from the Telegraph Record Store in New London. I'm Rick Coster. This is Live Lunch Break. And as you get further and further down the road, I want you to start making more ridiculous demands that uh, fall in line with your popularity. And the first would be because Joe prefers to play with his barefoot. And uh, <laughs> I think you should have your own, like, Egyptian carpet or something that you could Yeah, could Persian you, rug. Yeah, Persian rug. I won't play anywhere that doesn't have a Persian rug. I think that's, yeah. I think that's a yeah. damn good idea. And see, <laughs> this is why well, I you. should be managing this. <laughs> hey, we don't have a manager. <laughs> we don't have one yet. <laughs> don't have one yet. All right, well... <laughs> Now, I have to ask this, even though I hope that all of you are too young to actually remember this, but when I mentioned to my wife that um, the Friendly Ghost was going to be 
She said, how many times do you think people have gone online looking for them and Casper has popped up? Actually. Is that a problem? Uh, yes. There's a funny story about that <laughs> that has to do with Montreal. Uh, we <laughs> we were going to Montreal, and uh, suddenly somebody on online liked our page who was from Montreal. And it's like, oh, great. Like They like our music. Let's set up a show. It'll be great. He seemed like he played music. <laughs> and then I visited his page, and it was all plastered with Casper, the friendly ghost, okay. like pictures. And so kind of got misconceived. <laughs> that, that, well, <laughs> that is funny, but it's also a little disturbing. Like, who is that person? That is. It was probably better that we didn't. Meet up with him. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I guess there are lot, respect, there are worse probably. people that could be on their walls. Yeah. Yeah. I suspect so. Yeah. All right, so we are very much uh, honored to have Ca the friendly ghost, not Casper, with us. Mm -hmm. And if you guys would do us the honor of playing a few more songs, we'd appreciate it. Yeah. The friendly ghost. This one's called Glory. based off of a photograph uh, from
from Robert Frank, and it's called City Fathers. So look it up. a fool like you. City daughters have city quarters that are only meant to be spent on food. Shoot the breeze if you but it's guaranteed you'll miss Fold my face, the creases show And as I sink, the city grows It's a fool like you. City daughters have city quarters that are only meant to be spent on food. We have one more for you. I'll just switch guitars here, and we'll be in a second. As Rick mentioned, we played a song on the top of Mont Royal in Montreal, and uh, this is that song. It's called Replacement Leaves. just found out and I'm caught off guard. Please tell me how things got so hard. Where did you go and how did it feel? Please tell me no, this isn't real. Cause your mother cried and your friends were scared when you up and died. We're unprepared. So much for peace, and so much for quiet. There is no peace when your heart's a prize. you left to see 
Now there are trees with replacement leaves They glow with your memory But we can't always remember That we can't always feel tender You're a note in every song The beat on the humdrum days that you're gone Did we get the age when people we know are put in the past tense? When did we get the age when we fill our bags with such heavy content? When did we get the age when things like this could possibly happen? When did we get the age when these kind of questions gain some traction? There are trees with replacement leaves that glow with your memory. I heard a rumor through the wall. Your heart didn't stop its stall. You went from walk to crawl. The readiness is all. Cause we can't always be ready. No, we can't always feel steady. But you're a note in every song The beat on the humdrum days that you're gone What do you think, huh? The friendly ghost, that's Kelsey, over here in the middle. We have Victor, and this is Joe, and I am now the tallest member of the band. <laughs> Thank you guys for being with us on live lunch break. Thank we you. look forward to what you got up coming up. You got any shows coming up that we should know about? Um, not quite, but Thanksgiving time, we're open to play around the Bean and Leaf and some other places too. So. Sounds good. Looking forward to it. Thank you guys very much. Thank Peter you. and I will be off next week, so it'll be a greatest hits. You want to? We haven't gotten drunk and put that together yet, but it'll be happening. So, thanks for watching the day.com. I'm Rick Coster. You guys have a great autumn.